Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 62 on the Minecraft server with Black Dog Z. All right, so we got a special treat for you. You get to find out what that tank was for. All right, so the first thing I want to show you guys, I've got a couple items I want to build. And as you can see, I'm building some stuff right now. Just some uh, redstone chipsets uh, so we can make some more autarchic... 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 I can never pronounce that. Oh, well, we know what we're making. But over here, we have something neat. It's called an electric jetpack. I love these things. And we're just going to go ahead and we're going to stick it in our charging box right here. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to charge that up from the power of the sun. And I think we might go for a fly. But while that's charging, let me show you something else that we built. We built fermenters. As you can see, that's for bronze gears, which is the same as going up to the stone gears before and then doing bronze on the four sides around it. Then you have a sturdy casing, which is just all around the outside in bronze. And then, of course, glass. And that's going to build us some fermenters. Now, I built four fermenters. That's a lot of fermentation that's going to happen. But I think that'll be okay. That looks like it's finished one of the redstone chips, sorry, iron chipsets. So we'll go ahead and we'll stick that in there. You'll notice that'll allow us to make iron gates and gates and stuff like that. So we're going to make one more. Because I need four arctic gates. So now in order to wear the jetpack, unfortunately, we do have to take our armor off. But we get to have a lot of fun. So this allows us to fly... And of course, you kind of got to watch how you're pressing the space bar. There is a hover mode. I do not currently have it turned on. I'm going to sneak up on arc light here. I don't think he knows we're up here. Ah! All right, let's go ahead and fly away. this is kind of cool because you can fly up you can fly up pretty high with just the electric I actually prefer the electric over the uh, gas powered one look we can see our bees from here look at that our wonderful bees let's see how they're doing while we're up here actually as you can see they've completely outfitted themselves with flowers and they've actually managed to make quite a bit of honeycombs because we haven't really been touching them we've just been letting them breed and if we take a look here we'll see that it's getting kind of full so that's something that we're gonna have to fix here soon because it's probably just spitting them out at the end I'm surprised there's no bees on the ground um, so let's go ahead and just take some of these out all right so our inventory is full and we'll go ahead and just shove them in here All right, so that'll keep that going a little bit longer and allow us to create even more of this. Um, I haven't really been working on our breeze. You'll see we have a primeval. This is purebred. We have a purebred unwary. We have a purebred. Well, we had purebred nobles. Apparently, we have majestics now. Um, I don't know if they're purebred. We'll have to look into that. And we have some purebred nobles. Back here, we got some meadows. We got our Rockies. I'm going to go ahead and put those Rockies in here. Why not? We've got our Marbles. Got our Forest. And we got our Common. So as you can see, we're just going along and uh, filling everything out. We've also got our Valiants. So we've got quite a few different types. But before I breed any of these front ones, I need to make sure that they're actually purebred. Because some of the drones have been coming out not purebred, and we don't want that to happen. Our marshies are purebred, so we can just put them back. So, bees are for another time, though. Let's go down. Woo! As you can see, jetpacks are a lot of fun. I recommend they're fairly simple builds, being that it's just a battery box, some uh, refined iron. Um, here, let me look it up for you. I just saw it a second ago, but... We just type in jetpack, 
and click that. Refined iron, battery box, advanced circuit, and some glowstone. So the moment you can get to the nether, you can build this item. Super simple. You could go with a gas jetpack. I'm not a fan of them. They use the empty fuel can, electronic circuit. They're like a little easier to make, but they're not as good. They don't fly as well. They fly straight up pretty much. They don't like to fly forward as easily. As you can see, our jetpack barely used any of its uh, any of its power for that. Now, of course, we are going to need that for later. I just built it now because I wanted to get it built. But let's go take a look and see if we've got another redstone chipset. Perfect. I'm going to turn that off and switch to gates. We've got a few of them built, apparently. We were up for a while. Alright, so we need to build a few gates, so we'll let that build, and I'm going to show you what we're planning on doing with these fermenters. Alright, so down here, we got a couple of different items over here that we're not really using. We've got trees. We've got seeds, which we're kind of using. And we've got wheat, which we're not really using anymore. We have infinite chickens, we have infinite cows, we really have no need for wheat. So, the plan is, and I'll actually just grab a stack of this so I can show you guys. The plan is to turn these into what's referred to as plant balls. So now if you just go here, and you go like this, you get a plant ball. If you put a plant ball in a fermenter, you'll get biofuel. So, what we need to do is we need to come up with some way to make that. So, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need an auto-crafting table. Now, it appears that we're all out of auto-crafting tables. So, we may need to make another one. So, let's take a look at how you would make an auto-crafting table. Because I don't know if I actually built them on screen last time. So an auto crafting table is really simple, four wood gears around a crafting table. Probably the easiest thing you will ever build, and super simple, right? Super simple. So that's going to give us two wooden gears. This should give us the rest that we need. Oh, this will probably give us more than enough. That's all right. The other thing that we need is a crafting table. There we go. We now have a crafting table. And now it's an auto crafting table. Alright, so now that we have an auto crafting table, we're going to need a couple of other things. We're going to need a wooden pipe, which I think we have in here somewhere. Yeah. We're going to need some gold pipes, which we only really need one. So that's good. And then on top of that, we're going to need... Actually, you know what? I think we're actually going to need two of these. So, we have two of those, a diamond pipe. We're going to need an arctic gate, which we have. We have two of them. So we can get started on this build. And... How's this coming along? Well, it's produced its two gates. So... I'm going to tell it that I want arctic gates for now. And then eventually it'll run out. And that'll get us two more Urkic Gates. That's what I'm going to call them from now on, because I can't seem to think of what their name would be. So we're going to start with this. Let's go ahead and get that started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to dig down. Dig way down. And we need to put in a wooden transport pipe. So let's go ahead and do that right there. In there, we're going to want to put an Urkic Gate. Bam. Oh. Mm, bam. I can't seem to put it in. There we go. There appears to be a torch down here for some odd reason. Oh yeah, that's where I was hiding. I forgot about that. Yeah, I was trying to test to see if I could get additional blaze by hiding in there. But, uh, and it worked, but I didn't want to hide in there all the time. So, now what we do is we just produce that, and we're going to need one more. Two more, actually. So let's go and get some more gold piping. Because although regular piping works well, gold piping is much faster. 
And so I very do, I very much prefer gold piping over regular piping. And I don't think, oh yeah, we got gold. All right. Unfortunately, that crafting table is currently busy because of how many of those uh, those specialty ender barrels that we needed. So we still got the ender barrel recipe in there, lacking the uh, dark iron, which uh, we have tons of, so that's not a problem. All right, so now we take our gold pipes, and we go like this, and like this, and we break that. And then we put our auto crafting table right here. Alright. So then we go one, two, three, da, 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 da. and we build a plant ball. From there, we take another wooden pipe and we put it here. Take our Arctic Arctic gate and we put it there. Now that's gonna pump into a fermenter. Now, I'm probably going to set up additional fermenters, but for now, we'll just start with the one. There we go. Now it can pump into the fermenter. Now, I'm actually going to test this just to make sure it works. We're just going to click on this one here. I actually can't seem to click on it, so we're going to have to dig in here. Just so we can click on it. And we can go redstone off energy pulser and what we should see is we should see this stuff start flying in and filling up the slots as you can see it'll take a second for that sucker to warm up but once it does it'll move it pretty good and then we're just gonna go Redstone off, energy pulser. And actually, I'm going to tell this one, redstone on, energy pulser. And there's a reason that I'm doing that. And the reason is, do I not have one on me? Oh yeah, there's one. I want to be able to um, turn off that pulser. Because I don't know if this is going into the right slot yet. So as you can see, the plant ball went in the top. I don't know if that's where it's supposed to go, but we can test that. We'll turn this off for now. Wait a minute. Redstone on. Uh, we'll see if that's on or off. I can never really tell. I'm pretty sure that's on. That's off. Easy way to tell. There we go. Whatever that is, is not pumping plant balls. So, as you can see, it's going to slowly build up and build up plant balls there while we work on this. Now, the other thing that we do need is we need water. So we're going to need some liquid pipes. I do believe... Oh, wait. I think I already have a few. Don't know if it's enough, but we can try. So we just go like this, and we go, um, oh, right there, six liquid pipes. So we just dig down right here, and we go gold waterproof, gold waterproof. Gold waterproof, gold waterproof. Oh, we're going to be one short. Really? One short? One short. Alright. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. There we go. Alright. Let's go make another cold waterproof pipe. Alright. Luckily, gold waterproof pipes are easy to do. You just take a cactus. You cook that sucker up. As you can see, the powered furnace cooks that for up fairly quickly. And then you just put that in there and get some pipe waterproofing. Put the pipe waterproofing with the transport pipe. And you get yourself a waterproof pipe. Alright. Okay. 
Okay. So now we should have the proper number of pipes to hook up the fermenter. Now, I think there's another item that's needed here. Not too sure. But we're just going to test it here for now. Now, as you can see, we have an extra redstone cell over here. That was that one we built earlier. I actually went ahead and just uh, charged it up. Because I figured we would need it, at least for testing for now. So we're just going to set that down right there. Uh, that's not going to work. We need it to be right there. And we're going to need some... Two of these to be specific. There we go. And then we tell this one to go outwards. As you can see, it's not doing anything yet, because it's missing something. Is it this? I can't remember exactly what it was. Yeah, it's missing fertilizer. As you can see, that created biomass. And that's exactly what we're looking at wanting to create was biomass. So, if we go ahead and just turn this on. And grab a stack of this. That's going to create us some biomass. Really easy. We've already got two buckets worth of biomass. All right. So now I do believe, if I go in here, hmm, don't actually have one. But I have a bucket, and we can use a bucket. So if I create a bucket of biomass, I was hoping it was going to tell me what, that this had a fuel rating. But it doesn't appear that it does. I can't empty my bucket. Oh, there it goes. Biomass bucket, ADU, chick, semi fluid generator. Really? Alright, so now from biomass, how can we make biofuel? Let's take a look. We type in bio, we have a biogas engine. A bio generator. See, this is what I want to make is biofuel. Now, let me just take a look here. So it's all right. So now I'm just looking back on uh, my notes here. It'll just be one moment. Okay, just give me one moment here. Huh. Do I not have...
Okay, so then Alright, so apparently to create biofuel, we actually have to compress the plant balls? That doesn't make sense. Alright. Well, we've created a ton of biomass. I'm not quite sure. Hmm. All right, well, we can create biomass. I'm gonna have to figure out how to make biofuel from this. Now, I'm pretty sure we can. I just gotta figure out how it works. I haven't done biofuel in a long time. So we're just gonna stick this in here. And now, there was one other thing that I wanted to do. And this actually, what we were working on there had absolutely nothing to do with what we had crafted. Oh, I left most of it. No, oh, that's the nether stuff. I need stuff from over here. I need four redstone engines and a pump and am I out of liquid waterproofing? I am, so I'm going to have to make some more. I need some liquid waterproof pipes, preferably in gold. So I'll go ahead and cook these up so that we can get some more gold pipes. Because apparently I used them all on that biofuel. Well, it's our biomass. Alright, so there's five. We take those, we put them in here, then we put them back up with the golden transport pipes and make five of those. Now, this is where we'll need the jetpack. So we took our little tour, showed you how the jetpack worked. Let's go ahead and what we're looking for is oil. Now, I have no doubt that there's probably no oil nearby because the one thing I am certain of is that uh, they took all of the oil within walking distance. So our job is going to be to find oil. Preferably a fairly large amount. So if you see it on the mini map, that's where we're going to be heading. Alright. Does take a moment to get there, so we'll just fly over there here. Because I want to show you guys how hard it is to actually get oil. I have absolutely no idea where I'm going to find some. Now your most bountiful quantity of oil is generally found in the ocean. It can be found on land, of course, but most of the time it's not. Alright. We're flying pretty far, and I have not found oil yet. I always hate it when you go this far and you haven't found oil, but that's just how it is. You generally have to find a good desert in order to find a good amount of oil. Now, I should have set a teleporter home. I didn't even think of that. Hey, we've got lava over here. So generally, when you see something like this, which is from Red Power, something that they've made, there's that. This generally means that there's oil. Sorry, lava under here. Now, I'm actually going to do water skipping. That's something that the quantum boots will afford me to do, and the quantum leggings. You can skip on water, which is kind of neat. It's 
still have not found anything. More lava. Moo. So it would appear, unfortunately, that we're not going to find any oil today. Um, I was really hoping to set up this oil farm. So maybe we'll set up a lava farm instead. Get some more lava. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up on this lava and we're going to drain it. Drain the volcano. And the way you're going to want to do that is you're just going to want to take some dirt and you'll see here that's the only spot and that's the spot that we're looking for so then you just take um, take your engine I'm just going to put my engine there and we take our pump we put our pump on top and then I generally like to turn the engine so a pump is run again by four redstone uh, engines. It's the best way to do it. Haven't found another way that works that even close. Um, I have no wood. Hmm. Well, that's going to cause an issue. I also have no uh, cobble. I thought I brought wood and cobble with me. Usually do. Guess we'll head over here. Shouldn't be too hard to get wooden cobble. There's cobble right here, of course. We just need two pieces. And then we need a little bit of wood. There's a tree. There aren't many trees here, so... I need my axe. Alright, so as you can see, combination quantum leggings and quantum boots with a jetpack, you can get around pretty freaking quickly. Jetpack's more so for going over the ocean. Of course, the quantum stuff is great for going over land. So, you put those together and you got some pretty nifty things. Alright, so next we go here. Yeah, oh, wait, first we got to break this down. Okay, so I got a couple of levers. What you do is you just take your first level and you put it here. You take your second level, put it there. Turn them both on. And this will turn on all four redstone engines. The next thing you need to do is you're going to need a golden waterproof pipe. I like to have a golden waterproof pipe because then you can see what's going on. You'll be able to see when the lava is coming through. Next, we take a liquid tesseract. And we just take that and we set it on top. Now, we have to set this to... Two. We want to set it to owner only, send only, and we're going to call this lava. And check mark and plus. And so now we have fuel and we have lava. So, that's not what I want to do. So now that's going to be teleporting lava. Did I put it to send only? Yes, I did. Okay. So, that's all set up and ready to go. Now, unfortunately, it is not loaded, and I don't think I have my chunk loader on me. I don't. 
So we're going to have to come back out here with a chunk loader. So let's go ahead and set a waypoint. Lava source. Alright, so now we got to fly home. Now the downside here is I don't quite know where home is. Um, I'm actually going to stop on this island here for a second. I think I'm running low on fuel. Yeah. out of fuel. Conserving fuel, dropping down. Alright, so now... Alright, so now that we're going to get more lava, we're not going to go to the nether right now to get lava, because... Really, I don't think we really need it. Um, we still have plenty of lava, so don't really have to worry about that. For now, what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to go over here, where we have our other liquid tesseract. I'm going to have to make a few more of these things, but don't run out on me. There we go. Our, unfortunately, our uh, jetpack ran out. Alright, so now we got our liquid tesseract. We can actually just take our liquid test. That's unusual. Why isn't it flowing in there? Also, why don't I have this set up like this? I can just say blue. And that saves me on pipes. There we go. Although it doesn't appear that there's any fluid flowing in here right now. Alright, so what we're going to want to do is hammer that out. And we're just going to take our liquid tesseract. We're going to set it here for now. And we'll take this. wasn't quite what I was looking for. And then we go like this. And we go private, lava, receive only. Alright, so now that we've done that,
Hang on. I forgot one thing. I need another switch. So now that that's there, that should be fine. And we can put these back. And then reconnect this bad boy. Alright, jump out. Put the basalt brick back. And do I have my chunk loader? Yes, I do. So if I actually charge it here, it should charge faster. No, not really. Alright. So, unfortunately, we are out of time. So, I'm going to have to put the chunk loader down over there by myself. Um, but, if you have any questions on what we're working on, or if you can tell me how to make biofuel instead of biomass, feel free to let me know. And, um, I will go ahead and see if I can uh, get that to work for once. Oh, are we out of, we're out of speed, really? No, we're not. Yet I can't seem to speed run. Oh, I can't speed run because I'm hungry. You'll notice today we're using steak instead of uh, our usual. And the reason for that is because I just felt like something different. All right, everybody. I'm going to crash when I end here, but have a good evening. <laughs>